this is K4SWL. I'm out here working Parks on the Air at uh, Park 6952, which is the South Mountain Game Land. Here with the ICOM IC705. People have been asking me questions about operating CW with it. I think it's a nice radio for CW. Probably as good as the uh, IC7300. People have also been asking about the relay clicking sound, which is very minor in this radio. In fact, I'll try to use the memory keyer here instead of my paddle so it's not making any clicking sounds from the paddle while I do this. And I'll turn down the monitor. See if you can hear it. Really can't hardly hear it. Um, okay, I got a very faint signal there from... Having a hard time doing this. Sorry, I have a hard time doing <laughs> two things at once, as you can see. Um, but anyway, that'll kind of give you an idea of how the IC705 works with full braking QSK going. And, um, you know, it's a pleasure to operate in CW. I also have to give a, a shout out to the guys at uh, CW Morse um, who uh, sent me one of these paddles to evaluate. And it is really, really nice. Um, if I was doing a soda activation, I'd detach this uh, heavy base plate. Um, but it's a really stable little um, paddle and works wonderfully and very easy to adjust actually has a little wrench at the back that you can pull out and uh, adjust it in the field if you need to um, also I am evaluating this MAT tuner uh, the MAT 705 from Vibraplex uh, they've sent it to me on a loan uh, to test out with the ICOM IC705 it works brilliantly um, I've got it hooked up to the um, Chameleon MCOM3 portable random wire antenna, uh, which is doing a brilliant job. I've got it way up in a tree over there um, in sort of a V shape coming down the tree uh, down here and then the uh, counterpoise uh, running out that way. And the whole system's just working really, really well. Um, it's great on 80 meters because I've been working stations here uh, nearby North Carolina. I'm going to move up to 40 meters now and um, see how we uh, do there. <laughs> 